Uh, and speaking of praying, yeah, let's talk about this. Let's just give a quick congratulations to Nicki Minaj. Yeah, shout out to pregnancy. my good Trini sis um, on her pregnancy. Why do you think people want to hide their pregnancy? Because I feel like you've been said she was pregnant, yeah. but it's like she wasn't announcing yeah, it. Like, um, so, or is it hiding it or is it waiting for the right time? Like, oh. um, I think somebody like Nicki Minaj who experiences a lot of hate on the regular and when I do mean like she literally has like a lot of she is equal as she has her barbs and she has she also has a long hate train and when you're pregnant you want to go in peace like you want to be so why you want to take care you don't want to stress you want to because the baby's like she she's far along now so which tells me that the baby's about to be born so she probably had her, her stress levels down she's probably like got to be at peace and relax because she also wasn't on social media for a while like she also like backed out and it, and it makes sense because when you're pregnant you can't have that stress and be compelled to want to you know defend yourself about so speak your peace and you're just really care worried about your baby's health at that mm. point so i get why people do wait a while to come out with their pregnancy um and you know just to be a little messy this is a little messy i think the other side of it is at the time that she probably was Early in her pregnancy, it was a time that her fiance uh, was dealing with the rape charges allegations. Not allegations. He already did the time. But what happened is, I guess they had moved to California. He got arrested because he didn't register for a sex offender there. And, um, you know, people were coming back out like, oh, like your brother got knocked for being a rapist. Now your husband, like, what type of person are you? Now you have two rapists close to you. Like, what? Like, you know, and that's just a lot of pressure. You know what I mean? To even have to deal with being pregnant. And I think her best bet was to step back. Like, okay. Well, that's another yeah. congratulations to Nicki Minaj. Congrats, um, <clears throat> Nicki. You know, that's my bitch regardless. That's a little shift, man. These tough Telfer bags, I say right? Telfer bags. Telfer. So, Telfer. Telfer. How you say it? Telfer. Telfer. Telfer bags. Um, yeah, they cute. Shorty was on, first of all. Shorty was on Twitter, like, I don't want to say wildin', but it's like, she had a lot of support. No, so it's I, a guy. I was like, wait, I thought it was I, a girl. So, okay, so, so, wait, so I thought, okay. My so, I thought, I, I thought it was a guy as well. Yeah, Jay so said, I said, yeah. Okay. It's a guy. It's a Liberian guy, apparently, I think, from New York. So who was um, this chick on Twitter? Girl. But, you know, some people just, they defend it like it's their own. You know what I mean? Some people, they oh, just. Yeah. So I guess the big thing is, like, people have been buying the bags and reselling them. So essentially, what happens is, like, they're the bags. black owned black on designer, bags. Bags, designer bags. Designer bags. And. I think they run for about 150. 150 but because, to 200. you know, the movement right now is supporting black owned businesses. We're running out of stock. A lot of businesses are running out of stock. So what people are doing are the people that do have them, when they restock, they buy them and they resell them at a, and make a profit. So I guess the problem, the question is, do you feel like that is stealing from Niggas, the niggas, niggas is doing with shoes husbands. all the time. Yeah, it's like, like you gotta buy they the D, so for example, the Dior ones that just came out, they came out for their price. People were flipping them for 10 because they sold out. And niggas was going by now. Niggas, people yeah, were going to buy like them. 10 bands on so it. I can see if this these wasn't already a thing. But this is why things like Goat and Stock X and all exist, these yeah. like things exist because people eBay. Damn. Like people have been doing this for yeah, people been Amazon, doing this for years. It. So although Answer, Amazon, that's yeah, although I've seen a lot of people like you're stealing from a black owned business. And somebody was like, what if a black person bought it and then sold it? It's still black business. Like at the end of the day, not to say it like that. It's just that. They've been doing like anything, anything that's popular that's limited edition. If it sells out, somebody's selling it. Period. Because you know why? It's on high demand. It's right. gone. It's you can't new. buy it. So of course, ding, ding, they do it with paintings. Paintings are another example. They've been doing this. Like you get a painting for this, it you know blows up. They're reselling it for two mil to put in a museum. What's up? So, so I think like it's like what is the? I don't understand is, the, the big deal. Are people stealing this? No, they're buying, so they're buying it. it and they're buying it in bulk to resell it. See now, okay, so, right, so, see. so 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 that's point, where I can see. Now, but okay, the also part that I want to add in is, the, the I feel like the root of it was because you had a lot of men that doing were it. buying yeah, the bags. Yeah, I seen that and reselling. I seen that. It. So, so your that line, become, so wait, line, brother, so your, your close friend got ripped I was, apart. I was about to call somebody. This. About to, I'm gonna call somebody. I'm not gonna put him on a podcast. I because I'm curious to know are they because if you're buying it and reselling it, is I don't see nothing wrong with that. But the thing is, so the thing is, when you buy it in bulk, well, no, you're well, okay. So the thing is, it's weird. It's t it's weird because if you buy in bulk from them and you're buying all the bags, Yo. you're still playing. They're, so she, they're still paying her, his his price. Um, 
Nobody can hear you. But but I wanted to ask you. So with the with the uh the the tall fair bags, right? Did did y'all buy them? Yes. Full price. Full price. Full price. Right. So all right. That's all. So if if somebody that's it. If somebody is buying it and then reselling right. it, right? So I can I see, if, see. I can see if yeah. they were stealing it, right? But they bought it at the guy's price, like the price that's on the website. They bought, like it's not like they, you know what I mean? Like, like for, yeah, like, like they literally they, at that point they sold your stock out. Yeah. Facts. And like if, if 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 even if I bought a bulk, right? If I bought bulk of it, then shit, I helped you sell out faster. Like I don't. And, and, I don't and, be, and if you're and, that and mad, just, raise your price because people is clearly buying them. So like, what's the problem? I, like, because I, I don't yeah, want to be. So I seen it, I but. seen some girls like uh, men need to stay in their place. Like this is a girls. That's what men were saying. Like, what are you talking about? Y'all asked for us to buy bags. Like, like Vaughn was. And Von this was like, he was like, I mean, I'm sorry that nobody bought you a bag, but I bought all the bags. So, <laughs> so wait, type so shit. that goes into the type shit. So sorry, yeah, I don't understand the problem. I really don't. I don't either. I, 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 I'm trying to see it, and I'm trying to find the logic. But every time I think about it, I'm like. Either way, the company won because they're sold out. Facts, like you got your money. It you like, got your. It money. ain't like you got a discount. Like you got you you put a price on a bag, and we bought them. And and realistically, you lowballed yourself because you didn't realize your worth of your bag yeah. because it's on high demand, which is also why it's getting bought and bulk. Because now people are about to up them to six hundred, and people are gonna buy it because it's a black owned designer bag, and niggas is on their black owned behavior, and we want designer bags. Like so, at the end of the day. You kind of lowballed yourself. What makes something you designer have... though? Because I, I, I think part a of great part of it question. is the price kind of. So it's like if the bag is one fifty, just me personally, I never knew a designer bag that was one fifty. So nigga, I could buy a damn the shit. Exactly Sometimes Zara got an eighty dollar, ninety dollar bag. So is it like, is it really des- like is it still designer because they called it designer? Like what makes it designer? That's- that's a great question. I don't know. Actually, I don't like, know the answer. I, I really don't That's know. Because question. like when I think about it, like like you said, like a lot of like the Chanel bags, the Birkins, and like they're so high. Like because I Because mean, they gotta get the get, quality you, of it. That's so you the got, quality you can't of the bag. Charge anything like right, exactly. So that goes great in, question. That goes into Maybe we need to research what it's made of. Cause you know, a lot of like a lot of bags that are like are high, high popular in quality, like they're made out of like top notch. Like, you know what I mean? So I'm wondering I don't know. Is it? So, I think it's vegan, though. Vegan friendly. I don't know. So that goes into the, uh, this. Cool. That's that. That goes into this question that I've been saying about this Chanel bag versus the LLC. Um, t- me personally, shit. If I can't afford the motherfucking Chanel bag, I'm gonna get you the Chanel bag. But at the L- same time, if I get you a motherfucking LLC, you better not be complaining about that shit. Because most, more, more than likely. Honestly, you, I'm tired of these bitches entitled and asking yeah. for everything. Like, bitch, go get your own yeah. Chanel bag, bro. I know some bitches who's wilding right now and buying their own Chanel bags yeah. right now. That's the type of bitch I would rather model. I don't need to keep saying, like, now don't get it fucked up. My nigga got it. Yeah, baby, give me a Chanel bag. Hand that one in the pink. <laughs> but, like, I'm not, like, demanding. I, I feel like I was just talking to my close friend about this yesterday. Like, I feel like girls keep watching what's going on on social medias and watching the, like, little baby buy his baby mother all these Birkins for Mother's Day. Uh, Money bag yo buy his bitch this, you know, crazy ass car for her birthday. And they thinking, like, oh, like, bitches, like, oh, my nigga better show up, show out. And it's like, my nigga, they're not them. <laughs> like, they're not little baby. They're not Money bag yo. Like, why are you, first of all, you're not. They're baby mothers either, quite frankly. So why are we so compelled to tell a nigga, buy me a Chanel bag over LLC? Like, first of all, that doesn't even fit the average ho- household income. Like, uh, and so tells me that you're basically talking to a scammer or a drug dealer because that's the only time I think it's going to be logical for you. And even in that case, it's like that he should be able to put the money in hand and buy you a house and buy you an LLC and get you the bag. What's up? Like, I don't get it. Like, me, I'm not, dem- I hate, like, I don't like the demanding culture that women are going in. Like, mm, he better, he cute. better. It's not even, huh? It's not cute. That's what I, I told Jay, I was like, I mean, it's cute, but it's not like, like, it's a regular bag to me. Like, it, like I would buy, for, like, it's something I'd see at Zara. Like, it's not like something crazy. Like, it's not like, like, it's not even a Louis V to me. Like, it's not, no, like, I'll, you know, like, it's not nothing. It's talking tough well, it, again. It, it, it is. Black but, owned, so. but it's black owned. But you know what? I respect this other girl. She dropped other black hand, black owned handbags that has been selling that people don't even know about. So there's other black 
brand, black handbag brands out there. That's not the only one. One. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who made that popular or who initially made it a thing, but. But we're going to support them because they're black. On yeah. Show. But no, shut, back to these bitches who LLC, like Chanel, bag me, all this shit. Like, right. Like, at the end of the day, be grateful a nigga doing anything because y'all bitches don't even know how to cook. I'm sick of y'all. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. It's a lot. Like, I, there's a lot of great women out there, but it's a lot of ain't shit bitches that be asking for a lot. And I'm sick of y'all because y'all making it hard for females who do be working hard out here because niggas don't know what to do. Okay? Because it's like, oh, my last bitch was, you know, a bum asking for too much. So now I don't even want to get my new bitch who actually deserves it too much because I, I don't want her using me. Like, relax. Go, Speaking of these, like, these chicks, right? Yo, it's nice shot at. I'm sorry. Yeah, nice shot at. Yo, why um? There's no bitches out here. Y'all seen a video that the chick got blew? She blew up her damn self, right? <laughs> 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 like, like, what the fuck is going on out here? I mean, I just want to know what the nigga did for her to want to blow up. That's the car. a million dollar question. Like, cause right like, there. if I want to blow up your car, you violated me to the motherfucking core. She ended up blowing up her damn self. Like, and blew up her if, damn if self. So like it must not been a person. That <laughs> <laughs> Facts. That was that situation. That was facts. So, um, but I, then not to go back and try to clean up the evidence, like. Well, that brings the question of like, yo, y'all ever like wanted to hurt somebody so bad that it backfired and it you end up fucking your own self up? Shout out, you ever did that? <sighs> let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, Jay probably don't know this, and I'm gonna share it with everybody for the first time. Like, my baby father was not shit. Like, I fucking couldn't stand this nigga, and when I remember. When I first found out I was pregnant, I was been done with this nigga. So he was living with me at the time. I did, me and my friends took all his fucking designer, all his clothes, everything out the house. We bleached every motherfucking thing, all shoes. Like we fucked up every motherfucking thing. I never did this to you. This I was young said, me, I, I, young I, I, me. You know what I'm saying? I had my daughter at 18. So that means I was 17. Like, you know what I'm saying? When I said we bleached every motherfucking thing, like every motherfucking thing like literally bleached everything like i fucked up his whole entire wardrobe like fuck you all you care about is your clothes bitch bet you ain't got none so all that to say it didn't backfire on me i still had clothes however it wasn't nice that wasn't a nice thing to do i, so I don't recommend backfire, that because i mean because clearly wow. i mean because <laughs> that shit backfired literally, right. literally <laughs> like, wow, wow. But, um, right wow again yeah, on a second back, um but what i will say is to answer your question, because I wasn't the ugly one in that situation. <laughs> so I'm assume that she was doing too much because it didn't backfire on me. Um, but all that to say is, that's not okay. Like, if somebody makes you that mad that you got to blow up their car, you got to roll, baby. Now, I ain't going to lie, though. If you, like, I don't know. Because you, if you violate me, OD, I'm not blowing up your car. I'm going to try to do something to you. <laughs> and I ain't going to lie. I'm going to okay. keep it 100 with y'all. So we were talking about getting guns and shit and like having a gun license. I, and I never, I might not have told Shadi this. And I must say it's the first time on the podcast. One of the reasons why I want to get a gun is because I'm scared Shadi going to shoot my ass. <laughs> like, I put that bitch up somewhere. She mad. She think I tried to violate it. And now she going to kill me. And like, whoa, relax. That's what you think of me? Nah, man, I don't think. Well, I think you would. I think you probably would sh get me to, you probably, you probably shoot me in my pinky toe or some shit. <laughs> Are you probably trying to. No, yeah, I was about to say the wrong thing. I'm a just so Lou Will, right? <laughs> I don't even know who the fuck Lou Will so is. I'm break it down yeah, right? So I'm about to break it down because I, I have a question. Out. Okay, I seen the tweets. So Lou the, Will is an NBA tweet. player right, who I plays that, for the Clippers. Right. And if you don't know, Lou Will was the guy that had the two girlfriends, and everybody was talking about that because they knew about each other and they were cool with it, right? But Damn, long story short, like, every all the NBA where players they what? Are, where they find these girls at? I'm mean, saying like, what they be made of? I don't girls. know, but because <laughs> like you got like unless it's a girl that's just like. Cause girls really be okay with this shit. Like, there's some girls. I ain't girls, never met no chick that's no, okay I've with this shit. Met, I know a few of them. You do? Yes. I, I know them. I know it's some bitches who's really with it. Like, if they like. What are you? At? I mean, if you taking care of both. Well, yeah, that's the other problem. Yeah, yeah, that's the other. That's problem. actually a fact. If you, but, I can't but do honestly, that shit. nah, cause some bitches just be digmatized. As long as you fucking them, they will deal with whatever you come with. Well, if they really like you. Long story short, basically, <laughs> they they in a bubble right now, and they're not allowed to leave because you're supposed to be quarantined. So allegedly, he leaves, allegedly, and goes to a strip club. Mm -hmm. So the question that I actually wanted to ask y'all, because there was another NBA <laughs> how far, player. Like, how do you tip girls during this time, and social distance, 
and shit like you, you got ain't up. no social distancing. <laughs> well, I like, seen I seen that Texas has their they're the first outdoor strip drive club, through drive through strip mm-hmm. clubs. You get two songs, you get two songs. <laughs> you get what two. What's going, going on, on, Joe, in Texas? Because they be wilding out there to get your people, bro. They, they, they want to do whatever they want. Yeah, they like, do whatever they want out there. <laughs> That's why the coronavirus numbers are high as hell. Niggas, no, picture right. me in a strip club like a dollar. <laughs> hey. You sure? Nah, that was for her. Like, that was for her. Like, <laughs> not you. Pick that up. No, no, no. At that point, you're throwing like you might just go to the the grocery store and get the dollar coins and just. Oh nah. Just there's a coin shortage. Shortage, right? <laughs> uh, first of all, that probably what hurt. Facts. Like, but. cause what the fuck? <laughs> that hurts. Ouch. There was another player though, cause you have the quarantine once you leave. So he's quarantined. They have the quarantine for ten days, and there was another player that left uh, to go get Postmates, and he had the quarantine for ten days. So my question for y'all is: <laughs> If you were forced to quarantine in a bubble, all right, what's the what point? is one reason <laughs> that you'll leave? <laughs> that you would leave, honestly. Mm-hmm. Not like, family related, not emergency, but just a reason to step out. So are honest? we are we separate? Uh, yeah. Oh, the fuck, Jay. Oh, I feel bad now. <laughs> Nah, nigga, don't switch it up now. <laughs> but you said we separate, though. What you was going to say? Yeah, I, we, we I was se- going to say, they get some space from shout out. <laughs> <laughs> See what happens when you're nice? This is why nice guys finish last. Yeah, this is why I'm a fucking cunt. This is why I'm going to fuck real ass bitch. Give a fuck about a nigga. Big Birkin bag. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. I will probably leave. I don't, um, what would I leave No, nah, fuck out of here. Honestly, yo. As long as shot out here, I probably don't need to leave. That, but all right, so it not 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 double backing, right? Being real in my answer, I don't need to leave because like I'm good with shot out. But we're it's, separate. That's why I said. But you know, right, I'm saying if we're together, like the only I'm good, like just being real, keep it hundred. I'm good when like we good, we I'm good for real, for real. It's when we not good when I need some fucking space. Yeah, really. like last like, night honestly. Jay left at um twelve at night. He ain't come home until like six in the morning. You're lying. I came at like one if that, and I was in a garage. You don't even know that. I was in a garage chilling. I got tired. I got so y'all would know some funny shit. <laughs> <laughs> so boom, I was pissed off because I told Jay, you know what? You're not going to be leaving when we get an argument at 12 o'clock and I don't know where the fuck you're going. This nigga going to drop me in the house. He was like, yeah, well, see you later. So I said, all right, bet. He locked the door. I took, he got this long um, pole, no, pole, no homo, that is, it's a projector. I fucking yanked it in the door, like, and I put it. So I was like, yeah, I wish this nigga would try to come in here now. He ain't going to get in this bitch. I <laughs> laid down and I realized how ridiculous it was. <laughs> What the fuck? And I was like, if the nigga come home, we pull the door, he can't get in, he's going to flip shit. <laughs> so I was like, let me go take the car. That's why if you go in the, in the corner, the projector's in the corner of the door. <laughs> so Yo, uh, 